we are in Kosice, which is eastern Slovakia, and we are sitting in a beautiful Slovakian pub named Bako. They have a great outdoor seating, which is wonderful for uh, hot summer days when you need a cold beer to cool off a little bit. And here we have several beer dishes, which is perfect for drinking with the beer. So, this is a bread with a sheep cheese spread. It's a strong flavor and it's uh, mixed with uh, onion and paprika and it's really good. Bite of this just calls for some beer. Now, if that's not enough, here we have the pickled sausage with onion. You eat it with this bread. And this is the marinated brie cheese with the spices and olive oil. And the way it's made is you take a brie, slice it half alongside, and then put spices there. You can put a chili, you can put various peppers, uh, paprika, onions, garlic, whatever is flavorful and uh, full of energy and spices and hotness. And then you put it to an olive oil and uh, leave it there for several days. And the brie cheese gets that nice, soft flavor and texture. And look how delicious it is. This is the way you eat it. It's not like you spread it on the bread like some Americans do. No, the proper way is you slice a bite. Do a first bite so all that flavor the delicious flavor of the brie cheese gets in and then you bite the bread and mix all your flavors in your mouth and then and then here's the beer once it starts calling you just get a beer and drink it so what did you think about those three beautiful wonderful beer dishes well in my professional opinion as a california beer drinker <laughs> The brie was fantastic, the, um, the kind of herb marinated brie, and you can make this at home really easily, it's delicious. The pickled, I'm not really a pickled kind of guy, so the pickled sausage and the pickled onions, it was okay. Personally I prefer, a couple days ago we were at a beer garden in Germany and we had like the roasted uh, kind of barbecued kind of style uh, uh, sausages and mustard and stuff, and that was fantastic. But the brie was excellent, and the uh, the bread that went with it was really good. And um, oh, we started with the uh, goat cheese. I forgot. No, 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 sheep cheese. Sheep cheese. Brinza. 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 So the brinza. Uh, Great pronunciation. Was thank you. Was delicious, and it's like it kind of hits you over the head. The sheep cheese hits you over the head with this fantastic cheese flavor super strong, super dry, and then you just like grab for your beer and you chug it and that's what it's for, right? And it was kind of this, it's this bread with the cheese mixed with the onions and everything. And so it was delicious on this wonderful bread. And, oh, it was it on toasted bread? Yeah. And it just made you want to just chug and chug. It's my second one and it's uh, a bit delicious. And the best part is the price. Guess how much we paid for the whole meal? Three beers and three, one, two, three, four meals. I mean, three meals and a bread extra. Guess how much? How much would you pay in the area? I think it would be $30 minimum. Here it is. We paid 10 euros 30 cents. Isn't it cool? I think it is. Get some recipes and try it at home. You won't regret. Cheers from Koshika.